This is the continuation of part one. Taking it back to the beginning with buying journal one, I wrote about my purchases of a red pair of Sam Edelman booties as a little good luck gift to myself at the kickstart of the semester. I always feel the need to purchase at least a few new outfits and shoes to give me the confidence to perform well throughout the semester. I began my search for the perfect ankle booties for multiple reasons. They were all the rage this fall. They go with many outfits and are comfortable. I knew I wanted something I would be comfortable in at school all day, as well as on my feet at my new job. Comfort along with style were the most important aspects I was focusing on. I was willing to pay more for my product, therefore I was not super focused on price. While at Nordstrom with a friend, we were browsing through the shoe department and I noticed a circular table containing only ankle booties. Leather, suede, dark brown, light finished, black, red, a mass variety of booties in one spot ready for me to try on. Nordstrom does a good job of strategically placing their shoe merchandise rather than sectioning all the brands together. They tend to place similar styles in the same section. That way, if you like a certain style but not the way the particular designer fits or material they use to produce their shoes, Nordstrom's makes it easy for you to just pick up the same style in a slight variation rather than having to search the entire shoe department for another option. I tried on a black pair of Steve Madden, a red pair of Sam Edelman, and a brown pair of Fry. All awesome colors for fall and great brands. The Steve Madden materials used to produce the booties was not, were not as durable quality as I had hoped for. And the Fry were a bit too expensive, leaving the red Sam Edelmans. The, basic of, the basics of the booty, materials, price, and com comfort are all high quality, making Sam Edelman such an easy pick. I have worn the booties about a hundred times since my purchase and have made many compliments and have had many compliments from others and no complaints from myself. I think back to that shopping day with my friend and I knew the moment I tried them on they were what I was looking for and have been a satisfactory purchase I will enjoy for many seasons to come. The fact that Sam Edelman is such a trendy shoe company yet still maintains its affordable prices and comfort with each and every shoe I have owned keeps me coming back for more. I always look forward to their next season's collections. I wonder what this spring has in store. Amongst all these clothing, pur clothing purchases I have made for others and myself throughout the semester, I want to dis discuss my purchase I made for my dear friend Sarah Smith after she got her first job at the Gap this fall. I wanted to show her how proud I was of her for putting herself out there and applying for a job and successfully being hired. Tiramisu has been her favorite dessert since we were little girls and I thought a little special surprise would be appropriate for the occasion. I was looking for something inexpensive yet something she will enjoy and appreciate. But when thinking back, I remember this was a busy weekend for me so I needed the gift to be easy. I ran through a list in my head of her likes and dislikes. Starbucks, anthropology, yoga, the movies, Oklahoma, chocolate. And when I hint chocolate, I knew that was perfect. She loves sweets, and I could pick up something from somewhere for an inexpensive price, and it would instantly show her how proud I was of her. While on my break at work, I went to Corner Street Bakery and got her tiramisu, her favorite dessert of all time. It was affordable, special to her, and a little quick treat to show her how much I care. Corner Street Bakery was an easy location pick for me because it is inside the mall I work at, so no driving was involved. Sarah loved the tiramisu, and we actually have popped back in for lunch a few times since then while shopping at the mall and have enjoyed splitting the tiramisu.